In this video, we will look at a few design drawings prepared for the construction of a pedestrian subway. This is the subway. Uh, you can see here in the elevation section. The this particular subway is to be constructed before this actual road are built. This is a fairly easy method of construction. This first drawing shows the general arrangement of the subway. The general arrangement drawings provide the plan view, the elevation, the two cross section, one across the subway structure and the other one um, across the ramp uh, including some details of the armor layers and to be provided at the slope uh, on both sides of the ram wall this is the second drawing for the subway structures this drawing show detailed reinforcement of the top slab uh, you can see the uh, reinforcement uh, arrange uh, and horizontal and uh, vertical uh, view um, also there's a detail across the wall I can see many bars here and yes in this portion you see the side elevation of the subway uh, that is the top slab and this is the bottom slab and this is how the bar are arranged and this is the part of the ramp uh, here we have section CC um, showing how the reinforcement are arranged um, let me zoom a bit to show you uh, more detail uh, view of the cross section uh, if you notice there is um, construction joint provided just at the top of the base slab uh, on both sides of the wall and a similar construction joint are uh, provided just below the top slab one on the left and the other one on the right and this is the this information is to inform the contractor how the uh, structure is to be constructed okay. the first stage they have to concrete up to um, this point and on second stage they will do the wall and stop just at the construction joint um, if we pan through this side you can see more detail of the, the joints this is the second drawing for the subway structures this drawing show detail reinforcement of the top slab uh, can see the uh, reinforcement uh, arrange uh, in horizontal and uh, vertical uh, view um, also there is a detail across the wall uh, you can see many bars here and yes, in this uh, portion you see the side elevations 
of the subway uh, that is the top slab and this is the bottom slab and this is how the bar are arranged and this is the part of the ram uh, here we have section CC um, showing how the reinforcement are arranged um, let me zoom a bit to show you uh, more detail uh, view of the cross section uh, if you notice there is um, construction joint provided just at the top of the base slab uh, on both sides of the wall and a similar construction joint uh, provided just below the top slab one on the left and the other one on the right and this is the this information is to inform the contractor how the uh, structure is to be constructed okay. the first stage they have to concrete up to um, this point and on second stage they will do the wall and stop just at the construction joint um, if we pan through this side you can see more detail of the, the joints the third drawing shows more detailed information of the RAM together with its corresponding reinforced arrangement shown here in section B, B and section a, A. Uh, you can see the way it is drawn uh, one uh, full height and the other one uh, shorter one but varies in height to indicate this uh, the height varies uh, throughout the length of the uh, ramp um, on the right hand side there are also information regarding the subway drainage system the plan view is shown here and this uh, section DD show the, uh, the sum in relation to the uh, subway structure uh, Let us zoom into the elevation. Uh, from the elevation, you can see the uh, indication of construction joints as well as expansion joint. The expansion joint allow the structure to expand when the temperature rises uh, without causing uh, any crack to the wall. The ram of this subway is actually exposed to rainwater as it is no uh, there is no cover provided thus the subway need to be equipped equipped with a drainage system to drain away all rainwater that are collected during any rain during heavy rain This detail shows 
the sum on the right hand side uh, with the pump system that will collect the water from the subway uh, through the GI pipe uh, and it will drain away all the water collected to the nearest drainage system.